In this tutorial, we will model a engine valve. And so to do this, we will draw uh, the profile of the valve and then we will revolve around that. So let's start a 2D sketch and we'll select the XY plane. We'll start at the origin and we'll draw in a straight line, which will be vertical. So this will be our line of revolution. And we'll put in a height of 90 mil for this demonstration. Let's go to the top of that line. And again, we'll select the line tool and we'll come across horizontally by the radius. So this will be four mil. And then we'll come down vertically at 2.5 mil. And we'll come into the profile then at 0.5 mil. And so from here, let's select the three point arc. Although just before that, I'm gonna move this dimension out of the way. So yeah, three point arc, we'll start at the end point of this line. And we use the dynamic input boxes to identify uh, the other end point of the arc. So for this, we'll enter five mil and then press tap on the keyboard and enter 90 degrees. And now we just need to input the radius. So uh, in this orientation, we'll put in a rad of five millimeters. That's looking good. And then let's just come out of the profile by that 0.5 mil. Then we can come all the way down and just position the line roughly down there. And we'll just apply the vertical constraint to that line, make sure it's vertical. Again, let's use the line tool and we'll start from the end point of this line. We'll come across here by 28 mil. And then we will come up by that's 1.5 mil. I'm gonna move that dimension out of the way. We just want to draw in our line here, which will be at an angle of 135 mil. So let's press tab and enter 135, press enter. And then we can use the dimension tool between the end point of this line here and the baseline. Uh, this will have a height of four millimeters. And then all we need to do now is to put in our arc. So to do this, let's use the tangent arc. It'll be tangent from this end point of this line. It will finish on this line here. Let's put in a dimension on that rad of 16 mil. And then we have our profile complete. That's fully constrained. Let's go to 3D model and let's revolve that profile. And for the axis, we'll select our 90 mil line. So this one here, preview looks good. Press OK. And there we have our engine valve. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments section. But aside from that, I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.